What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms and Blues, man. Hashtag Farms and Blues. Today, we got 22 PC mods in testing. We got six console mods in testing. FarmCon 20 is going to be here soon. A2 Square Studio announced something very interesting in stream yesterday. 40 Modding have some new console mods. MJ Modding's working on a new Ford tractor. Sid Modding shows off progress on his new John Deere Combine. Plus, North Modding Company has a huge dozer. Let's check it out. It's SD4 PC. We have Beehive, Central Germany, Cow's Barn Pack, Crash Barrier Set, Electric Sliding Gate, Happy Animals, Harrow 5, Jan Lancer 7.5, Jaws Can Tetra Cap, Kamaz 45 143M Car, Lubelska Delina, Mechanical Harrow, Middlefax Z514, Motor Train, Pottinger Top 280, Pottinger Euroboss Pack, Pre Alps, Pronar Metal Fact Pack, Seasons Geo Germany Upper Bavaria, Shaft 3M, Starliner 4045H Cutter Trailer, and the Silky HWR 6M. It's SD4 console players today. We have better lights. Inno Elite 270, John Deere STS. 9750 and the 630F cutter, Masna Delina, New Holland 185, and Utility Tank. With all that being said, we only have 65 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is down to two work days. Farming Simulator and Giants have released the program overview for FarmCon 20, which will be starting on July 19th, 2020 at 2 p.m. CEST, and will be in English, with German subtitles available on the German stream. FarmCon will be live streamed this year as opposed to being live like normal due to the current pandemic. They say to expect presentations, Q&As, a look into what's coming next for Farming Simulator, and lots more. They will have multiple presentations including QA for a non-linear game like FS, sound design for the FS game, which was my favorite part of FarmCon 18 when they talked about it for FS19, and they will also be showing off modding for beginners, LUA scripting, and what I'm sure you're all waiting for the announcement of the next DLC for Farming Simulator 19. I've been speculating for a while now that it'll be New Holland. As a matter of fact, I've been very public about it, and it looks like that this could be true according to a post from Twitter between Simulagri and New Holland France. This says, I say if New Holland provides me with the plans, I can integrate it into Farming Simulator quickly. To which New Holland promptly replied, do not worry, Waiting to discover this beautiful machine in Farming Simulator shouldn't be very long now. With that being said, it is very important to know that nothing is official. Nothing! <laughs> Until an announcement has been made by Giants themselves. Speculate all you want, that's totally fine. But nothing is set in stone. This could be a mod. We don't know. Uh, we saw this tease by Giants at the last Agri-Technica and have yet to see it along with a few other mods that have not been released. None of the others are New Holland, making me wonder if this is just going to be another equipment pack uh, with just one brand being featured. Only time's going to tell. What do you think? A2 Square Studio live streamed yesterday showing off his new 22-foot gooseneck bell trailer along with a few other teases as well. The 22-foot gooseneck was shown off to have a flat surface as well as removable slats to allow room for holding round bales. In addition to that, there's areas below that will hold seed bags as well as liquid fertilizer. Nothing like this has ever been seen on a trailer like this before, which makes me very excited. He also has a classic Ford Ranger that he's going to try to get over to consoles that will likely have to be rebranded and will require lots of work to get onto consoles in the first place, and also showed off a larger gooseneck trailer, which was 40 feet. It's absolutely massive, and the community quickly persuaded him to start work on it immediately. Thank you, David. There was quite a bit talked about, but to get the whole story, Go check out his stream replay on his YouTube channel. I will have that link below. 40 Modding released some information on a few of their upcoming mods for PlayStation and Xbox players, as well as a few updates for PC players. First, the Kane MQ is uploaded as Lizard brand for testing. The Kanan Mech Fiber has gone through one round of console testing, but there were a few problems. They have fixed it and said it should be back on the testing list today. However, it is not on the testing list today. Maybe it's already passed. Only time will tell. The Bruffin trailer was also uploaded as a Lizard brand for testing. The D1000 Baylor will be getting a version that consumes molasses and water. They will also be including changes to the bell eject animation, which the bell breaks free just after it exits the chamber. And lastly, the Case IH. They will release an update to fix the camera problem some people were having. MJ Monning is working on a new Ford tractor and says he's been working on it over the past few weeks alongside Gatehead Farm. The engine's not done yet, but this model looks really good. Sid Monning says that today he's working hard on the John Deere 9650 Walker Combine, and he thinks that he's going to have this sent off to Johns for testing in the next week or two. 
but has a few small corrections to finish before the mod is done. And lastly today, North Mod and Company have released the first in-game screenshots of their D11 Cat Dozer. This is being made for all platforms, but it is unclear if the mod will be rebranded for console compatibility. Thank you, T-Bone, for these awesome screenshots. I know there's lots of you guys out there that want to play with something like this, and I can't wait to see this. There's a chance that this could give the Big Bud 747 a run for its money once it's in-game. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I didn't talk about something that you're curious about, that just simply means there's no new information at the time of recording. A lot of people ask me in every single video, where's this, where's this, where's that? Literally, this sentence right here. I don't know. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel. Try to go ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! Who else just gets a little bit extra hype on live stream day? Let's go!